Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be doing my October favorites and it's gonna be quite a bit of products. A lot of them, I guess I did a lot of shopping in the month of October so I was trying new products and a lot of them I fell in love with. So there's quite a bit of products to go through. <laughs> and by the way, I'm wearing my Shop Miss A earrings. One of them and also the necklace. And one of my previous orders for the bows. So a lot of products to go through. So let's get started as soon as possible. <laughs> So I guess first we'll start off with some, I guess some skincare. So first I'll start off with, this is Pond's Cold Cream Cleansing Balm. And this guy I had received in a box box from Influencer. This was only my second box box and I love it so in the previous month I had mentioned the first item I had gotten in my box box which became a favorite and now the second box box becomes a favorite so this is well it's a cleansing balm it removes your makeup and I just have to put up my review for this on the app but I wanted to use it get a feel of it before I did my review and I love it I love it it really does remove your makeup but it not only does that it's I guess you would say moisturizer because it leaves your skin feeling so soft so soft even the next morning my skin was still really soft so I loved it. I even still used it last night when I did my Halloween makeup. I pretty much only did it for pictures. I didn't go anywhere. But I had on a lot of glitter, a lot of colors, a lot of layers, and this removed every layer. So I highly recommend this guy. Love it. And then another product. Well, this was one that I had already, but I didn't start using it until this month again, I guess. This is from Fresh. This is the Sugar Lip Caramel Hydrating Balm. So this one smells really, really nice. It smells so nice. So it's like a little balm. So since I have a lot of matte liquid lipsticks, I put a little bit of this before and doesn't dry out my lips so much and of course the scent I love it I even still put this on today before a lipstick and pretty much yeah removes any dry skin that you might be feeling on your lips and this was one I think it was in one of my Sephora orders I think for last Christmas this was in one of those little little sets, Christmas sets that you can get with your online order, which I'm excited about, which should be coming again now this year. So love this one. And then I got this guy. This is from True Beauty, the brand. Though so I had gotten this one at TJ Maxx. I think this was during my was it? I think it was during my last haul. Yes, I think so. The triple TJ Maxx haul. <laughs> and because I had wanted, I guess, a bigger fluffier brush, but not as big as the Kabuki brush that I had bought in from Real Techniques. And I actually really like this one. So this is a blush brush. I actually did use it today for blush. And I did like it, it's a quicker option to get on that blush, but then I also used it for 
powder all over the face and I really liked it as well and it's very soft so I really like this guy and this one was only $3.99 at TJ Maxx so great price so then moving on to I guess I'll move on to the lips before we move on to all of this so I have four lipsticks that I really love this month so I guess I'll start off with the one I'm wearing right now this is Too Faced the I guess these are the moisture matte peach kiss lipstick and this was in the shade got peach which is this one right now and this one <laughs> is actually my mother's we had when we went to North Carolina her and I we had bought one of these but different shades and now that she went back home there are a few items that she couldn't take with her because when she comes to Miami and leaves she wants to take everything with her so she couldn't fit everything and she left this one behind and one of these days I decided well, let me try it on see how it looks and I love it I really really do love it just like the last one which was in the shade Muy Caliente which is a reddish shade that's mine I love the formula doesn't dry out very moisturizing but again with this one love the shade it's more of a I guess peachy nude and of course it smells amazing and then another one see also a lipstick this is the Kat Von D studded kiss lipstick this is in the shade Lolita this was in the lipstick form so this was another one I had gotten at TJ Maxx as well as the other one also at TJ Maxx I think this was in the second to last TJ Maxx run and I had seen this guy there I had never seen this one there before this was Marshalls Marshalls this one I found at Marshalls I saw it I know Lolita was a very popular shade since this one was only $7.99 I thought why not I picked it up I tried it on I love it I know it's like another nude but you can't have enough nudes and this one's more I guess kind of a more mauve nude so I really really love this one and then I guess continue on with Kat Von D this is her everlasting liquid lipstick in the shade mother I'm showing here the mini version because it's the one I'm still using at the moment I know I had received the large size in my boxy charm but I just opened this one out to try it out before that one came in and I loved it as well I had bought this one also at TJ Maxx I think TJ Maxx which is a set which was this one and also the mini version of this in the same shade I love it because so I have one of these in a very Barbie pink color but I think I bought that one maybe 2015 and the formula on that very dry very very dry so I thought that's how they all were but when I tried this one it wasn't that dry at all not at all very comfortable so I'm guessing that one is just too old so I really really did love this one it's more of a pink and then the last lipstick what's well, another liquid lipstick this is from dose of colors this is in the shade bear with me they're matte liquid lipsticks I had gotten this one at Ulta so I had seen this shade on Instagram I thought it looked really pretty but when I tried it on me it looked very very pretty See right there another nude 
So I guess I was really liking the nudes this month. Though for this one, when I first put it on, it was very, very drying formula. But like I said, I've been trying with this guy from Fresh Lip Balm before, before putting this guy on and definitely made a difference. So since this, this one is a little bit dry, I recommend a lip balm before. But the shade, amazing, amazing. So I do have a few swatches of each of these guys. So here we have the swatches of each of the lipsticks. You have first here, this is the one I'm wearing right now, the Too Faced in Got Peach. Here you have Kat Von D in Lolita. This one is Dose of Colors in the shade Bear With Me. And this one is the other Kat Von D, the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Mother. There you have all the shades. All right, so now jumping into this big pile. So I guess first I'll start off with the face before I jump into the eyeshadow palettes. So I have here a few guys. So first I'll start off with this one, which is just one of the brands. The other one is the same brand for two of them. So this is from Ofra. This is the Nikki Tutorials Collab Highlighter in Glazed Donuts. So I had gotten this one during the Ulta sale, 21 Days of Beauty. And I've been wearing this one ever since I bought it. I absolutely love it. And there goes my earring. I absolutely love it. I know for that, for this highlighter, she had created it for more light skin tones like herself, but I tried it on myself and it actually works out, even though I'm medium skin tone. I'm trying to put this back on. Since I'm medium skin tone, it still works out very well, which I'm wearing right now. So it still works out. I just try not using too much because then it can look very white. But I actually really love it. I've been using it quite a bit and it still doesn't look like I've made a dent on this. So I had gotten this one and the other one was Pillow Talk which was a gift for my stepdaughter which I saw that shade in person and I wanted it. So beautiful. So I'm thinking that's maybe your future purchase. So the next two, which are for the face or the eyes, these are the Clara Cosmetics. So first I'll start off with this first one. This is of course the Unattainable Powder Blush Three Shade Palettes. which if you didn't know by now that I love, where have you been? Because I stocked up on a whole bunch of these on my last TJ Maxx haul. Since I love how pigmented they were, and since you get all these, you get a more pinky shade, you get a shimmer shade here, and then here you get more of a coral shade. And what I loved about this one is that you don't only have to use it for your cheeks you can also use it for the eyes which I did a little tutorial on this for a quick on-the-go look that you can use this palette everywhere so if you haven't seen that video I'll link it down below and then this other one which is newer which I also got in my last TJ Maxx haul this is the Gold Digger. This is Contour, Highlight, Blush, and Bronze all in one palette. And again, these two were $3.99 at TJ Maxx. 
which also comes with a mirror and then those are the three shades so it has here that this is the bronzer <laughs> and then here you have a shimmer highlights see the highlights and this would be the blush which is more of a neutral blush which I have used before and actually did like it and for today I actually used this guy for the first time on the eyes and it worked out pretty well so I love these kind of palettes that you can use not just for what it's meant for you can use it for the face, the eyes, anywhere pretty much so I love this one, I highly recommend so if you guys see any of these Clara Cosmetics pick them up, pick them up and for four dollars you can't really go wrong with these so then moving on to all the eyeshadow palettes I know it's quite a bit quite a bit and I think I did buy them all all in the month of October <laughs> so continuing on I'll start off I guess with the smallest guy this is the Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions palette and this one I got at Sephora so out of all the new palettes that she brought out of course I had to get this one you know how I love my blues so I actually used this one for my Halloween look yesterday I love the shimmers so they're a little bit, they're more of a, I guess not like shimmers, more like glitters. So for those you would have to pack them on since you, since they're glitters, they would produce a lot of fallout. So be easier to use glitter glue and pack it on. But then also I discovered another use for this guy I put on, which if you didn't see on my Instagram. I posted a picture with this guy and my lips. I used a Sephora liquid lipstick, which was kind of, I guess, kind of like in this shade, matte shade. And then I used this guy on top. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. So I created a completely different look with that. It kind of looked, I guess, metallic. Looked like a metallic lipstick. So, love it. Not just for the eyes, like I said with the other ones, you can use this also on the lips. So, multi-use palettes. And this guy was only 27 for 9 shades. Love the blue. Then with the... Let's have here some... I'll do these two. These are from... BH Cosmetics, these are the Take Me Back to Brazil palettes. Have the original and the Rio edition. So these guys, I've been wanting to purchase them for the longest time. The longest time. And then finally they went on sale for about $13.50 each on the site. So I finally decided I'll pick it up and pick up the second edition. Which is actually, I do recommend getting both because I would say this one is more of the matte shades. So typically when I use these palettes, I use both. Use this one for the base and then I'll use the other one for the shimmers since this one is all shimmers. All shimmers. What I love about these guys is that you have all the colors. Any color you're going for, you have it right there. You have your pinks, oranges, reds, browns, the greens, yellows, greens with blues, purples, anything pretty much. I have created multiple looks with these guys and I do love it. Just love how you get all these color options though when i got it in person i did see 
the pans they're a little bit smaller than I thought but because of all the choices that you get not sure when I would hit pan on any of these but I do love it I do love it then with the last item finally so this last item is from Juvia's place this is the Zulu palette and I bought this well I wanted to get this I saw it in person at Ulta since they were finally selling it there but they were all sold out I had a coupon that I wanted to use and they suggested maybe you can try finding it online and I bought it online this is another palette I've been wanting for the longest time longest time and I finally got it and I do not regret it the pans pan size are huge but the way they perform highly highly recommend and for twenty dollars well 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 worth the money I'm actually I'm wearing this one on my lower lash line though I've been wearing this one for days off for work and I love them I love how they last all day I'm a person who does not wear eyeshadow primer I don't wear that stuff so this one actually lasts all day on me it still looks perfect at the end of a long work day which you know I'm a baker sticking my face in the hot oven 400 degree oven so it lasts all day and since I wake up at about 2 30 a.m. So around 3 a.m. I'm doing my makeup so I can give you a real a real wear test. So I can say these do really last all day. I love it. Love, love, love this blue shade. Amazing. This is the one I wore for my for the IKEA shelf mission video. Stunning, stunning, stunning. This one's another one that's stunning. Though, oddly enough, the one I've worn most has been this one right here. I guess this one's kind of like a duochrome. Kind of has like a pink with a gold shift. So they're all very beautiful. Love the mattes as well. I just highly recommend this one. Love it, love it, love it. So that was everything for my October favorites. I know it was quite a bit. There was a lot of new products that I was trying out, a lot of new products that I bought. Just in general, a lot of products, but a lot of loves, a lot of new discoveries. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I can film another one today as well because my Ipsy bag finally came. It came about two days ago. I think it came October 30th, but I have to go pick it up at my in-laws, pick up my mail so I can do the unbagging. So if you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Please share, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.